This is Sneaker Gears, my name is Levi. Today we're bringing you the first that I've ever seen sneaker rating system. So I want this to go out for all the people who are selling sneakers out there, buying, everyone's trying to put seven out of 10, nine out of 10, very nearly dead stock. There's no basis. Here is the basis where everyone's gonna come from. I'm gonna do a quick overview. My boy Nate's gonna come at you. We got five videos detailing with every shoe, one through 10, what you're gonna be looking for. So if you need a reference, you need to send your boys, this is the video. So let's get right into it. A 10 is a dead stock, never before worn shoe. Factory packaging, factory lacing, all right? This has never been worn. We took this out of the box for the video. All right, Icy, that's a 10. Don't try to flex that your shoe is dead stock if you took it out and you wore it, or even if you tried it on. I'm sorry, tried it on in the store, it affects the value, it is what it is. A nine is gonna be your original box. You better have the receipt. No creasing, no obvious flaws, minimal signs of wear, if any, but really you're talking about no flaws and a shoe that if you wanna lie and you know how to repackage it, can probably be sold for a 10. That's a nine, that's your 9.5, very nearly dead stock. Eight. Original box, like new condition. It's obviously no signs of major wear, but you can tell they've been worn. All right, if you have an eight, which is a lot of shoes being sold today, it's a shoe that you rocked. You cleaned it, put your shoe trees back in, but you wore it, that's an eight. A seven, seven most likely is a replacement box. Has minimal signs of, uh, as far as scuffing, smarks. You're gonna have something on the leather, but they still look very good. You have clear signs of wear, but they're in very good condition. This is what I think a lot of shoes go under a seven. This is something I would like to call a seven, but what a six is when you start to get a lot of heavy wear, either missing components, possible discoloring. This is when you start to get either heel drag or noticeable wear on the sole. Now this hat doesn't have any major wear, but you can tell it's dirty. They've been worn and what knocks this down to a six, or maybe if you want to say a 6.5, is you got some heavy creasage. All right, so let's be honest with yourselves. Five, something of deep creasing, you have heavy wear in the upper of the materials, and this is where you start to see a lot of midsole compression. So this is something that's been worn a lot. It's possibly gonna have loss of comfort or cushion, so it's not gonna be like just out of, the, out of the box, and you're gonna have signs of loss of traction. So something that you may not wanna wear in the court, but they're still very wearable. So stop being nervous about listing a shoe as a five. Let's be honest, be realistic with your pricing. Four, and that's why I bring this one. This is when you start to talk about kind of a distressed upper. You may have some scuff on it, some marks. The outsole is clearly worn down and it is not safe to use on the court. This is buttery smooth. So even the front, still very good. This is a shoe that dead stock would be, you guys can correct me wrong, maybe 250, 300. Got it for a hundred bucks and that's okay. You try to rate this as an eight out of 10, but you know what? I got the price right. It is what it is. This is a wearable shoe that's in very good condition. And this is something where you may want to start to look at a possible restore as far as bringing it back up to the new shape. A three is a wearable shoe, but definitely we start categorizing these as our beater, something you wear every day. The outsole is smooth. You start to lose traction where maybe it's not safe. My boy said he fall, he fell at his factory three different times because his sole is worn out. Like, dude, you gotta get a new pair of shoes. That's a three. This is where your midsole or plastic pieces, the paint starts cracking, there's damage, possible stripping. So it doesn't mean it's a bad shoe, but this is kind of where you start to have some work. And the general cushion is starting to get worn down where they're just not comfortable. Now Nike is a little immune to this because if you have Air or Zoom Air, that does last a long time. Two, no one's ever bought the two. Well, what are you getting a two? You went to a thrift store possibly, you're gonna hand me down. This is where you have a midsole or the outsole separation. This is where you have upper that's being damaged beyond repair. You have major tear, scuffs, discoloring. This is what's something that can be called a major restoration. So none of these shoes means you can't bring it back up to an eight. You know, never, nothing's gonna get to a nine or 10 unless you brand a new, but it doesn't mean shoes are not worth having. And a one, what is a one? One is holes, man. Talking about a holy shoe, whether it's holes in the upper, holes in the bottom, 
people trying to throw tape on a shoe, people trying to say, oh, it's wearable. When you have damage that's beyond repair, possibly unwearable, where you need a full swap, and I don't know if you want to save a one, but let's be realistic about these things. We're gonna have every shoe coming up in a five-part series. Hopefully this helps. Let's be real, guys. Please check us out, Sneaker Gears, on Instagram, on Twitter. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll come back to you next time.